Good morning everybody and welcome once again to the Parish of All Saints Harrow Weald. If you were there right at the beginning you'd just have seen our beautiful churchyard and the bells of All Saints ringing. Uh, that was last year uh, when, well actually it was two years ago when the church was still open for public worship on a regular basis. At the moment we're waiting patiently and hoping that very soon we'll be able to return to our beautiful church for worship. But for now we're worshipping from our homes and today we're going to have that beautiful morning prayer service from the Book of Common Prayer which is often called Matins. Uh, the service will begin in um, a few minutes at around uh, 10.30 and as we prepare for worship we'll hear our Director of Music Diane Tigg playing first Oh Jesus I Have Come. Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Beautiful words for a, uh, from a wonderful hymn and well, delightfully played for us by Diane. And we thank Diane, as ever, for supporting our worship by week by week with the choir choosing their favourite hymns and then Diane plays them and sends them to us to enrich our worship. And now on this Thursday morning, the we're in Passion Tide. In one more week we will be approaching the cross with our Lord and Saviour. So on this Thursday morning, let us worship God. Matins from the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. 
O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our Old Testament canticle, the Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our morning psalm are verses from Psalm 119, and in this portion of the psalm, this is, by the way is the longest uh, psalm in the Bible, it's over 100 verses, so we're reading verses 33 to 41, and in this part of the psalm, the psalmist is making um, a statement of supplication to God. He writes, Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein is my desire. Incline my heart into thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. O turn away mine eyes, lest they behold vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. O establish thy word in thy servant, that I may fear thee. Take away the rebuke that I am afraid of, for thy judgments are good. Behold, my delight is in thy commandments. O quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy loving mercy come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation, according unto thy word. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Te Deum Laudamus We praise Thee, O God, we acknowledge Thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship Thee, the Father everlasting. To Thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee, the noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ, thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. 
Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Our Bible reading this morning is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Church in Rome. Some verses from the fifth chapter. Paul writes, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned, after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offence, so also is the free gift. For if, through the offence of one, many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift is of many offences unto justification. For if by one man's offence death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offence of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedient many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offence might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That, as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. One of the uh, many things which my dad taught me was, it's a saying I've have in my mind all the time, stand up, shout up, then shut up. And so for our reflection today, I will very briefly transform the uh, the quite verbose um, part of the letter from Paul and the beautiful simplicity of the psalm into a, a recommendation for us all for these days as we approach the cross on Good Friday. Paul wrote a lot. The gist of his message is very simple. By nature we are sinful. By nature we are imperfect. We were dying to sin until God gave us his Son, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And through the sacrifice of Jesus who was without sin, we have a root to eternal life and to the forgiveness of sins but it's not automatic that's what is there Uh, by grace we have justification through the death of Christ but the psalmist reminds us it's not automatic it isn't just a free gift it is a free gift but it isn't just a free pass you know uh, what is it get out of jail pass go get 200 pounds no it's not as simple as monopoly Uh, actually monopoly isn't simple but anyway it's not that simple what the psalmist reminds us is that by grace we are forgiven and we have the route to eternal life but there is an impetus for us to respond for us to acknowledge our imperfection to ask God to forgive us and to guide us in a good way we all have gifts we are the greatest gift of all 
is that Jesus died for our sins. And so our response to that sacrifice is that we are invited to use our gifts. And so my challenge for today in this time of Passion Tide is that we should consider our gifts, give thanks for them and identify how best we can use them for God. God gave us the greatest gift. He's given us others. Let us use them for him. Amen. Jubilate Deo. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now I invite you to join me. Let's confess our faith in Almighty God in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for this day. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought into the glory of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Colic for Peace O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Colic for Grace 
O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we add a collect for this time of anxiety and stress that affects us all. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love, for your name's sake. From our parish prayer list, we commend to you Isabel Dvoreski, Asha Solianki, Catherine Jones, Siobhan Renson, Noel Bevan, Sheila Ward, Ray Padoni, Roger Siswick, Jane Slade, Margaret Fintner, and Doris Reed. And we add to those from the prayers of our hearts, friends and family of each of us who have particular need of your comfort and support at this time. May they all feel your love and peace surrounding them. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so once again, thank you so much for joining us for worship. Uh, I hope that wherever you are, your day will be peaceful, will be happy, and will be truly blessed by God. We will be worshipping God again tomorrow. Uh, it's Friday. The week is, is flying away once again. And on Friday, we will worship at 11.30 UK time. And we will be remembering in our prayers, especially those who have long-term uh, medical and health and anxiety conditions. That will be Friday tomorrow at 11.30. And now, as we conclude this morning's worship, we have uh, Diane playing for us again, and this time it's Longing for Life.